John Chow here from johnchow.com. Welcome to another episode of Marketing with John Chow. With the new year just around the corner, I know that many people are looking to start a new business in 2018. With that in mind, I want to share with you my first business venture and the important lessons I learned from it. My friend and I, we thought up some crazy schemes to set up a Valentine's Day dance at a big hotel ballroom. A few months earlier, we had attended some Christmas dance set up by some other people in a small local hall. We had visions of doing a much bigger production and I was the project manager. I booked the entire grand ballroom of the downtown Ramada Renaissance Hotel in Vancouver for 1000 bucks for the night. Now this was back in 1987, so it's way more expensive today. I rented a ton of DJ equipment, higher security. My brother at that time worked at a print shop and I got him to print up some tickets for me in his spare time using leftover cardstock. Tickets were $6 in advance and 8 bucks at the door. We didn't, had, we didn't do any advertising for the dance except for word of mouth. I gave out some free tickets to the popular kids in school and had them sell the tickets for me. I remember the night of the dance was a complete blur. I didn't know how many tickets were sold or if any tickets were sold at all. I didn't even know if anyone was going to show up. We spent most of the day setting up the sound and the lighting. The hotel staff was great and really provided a lot of support. When the hotel was setting up the bar, I had to tell them not to sell alcohol because everyone was underage. Looking back at it now, I'm really surprised the hotel even rented the ballroom to us. We were just in our teens and didn't really have any way of paying for it if the dance flopped and nobody showed up. But they say people do crazy things in their teenage years, so I guess I will add that one to the list. The ballroom had a coat room next to it but no hotel personnel was staffing it that night. I asked my brother to work the coat check and he's asked why. I told him the hotel didn't have anyone and people want to hang up their coats, you know, just charge them 50 cents or something. So my brother and his friend Henry went to work the coat room. At first, my brother just took the coat and hanged them up. He didn't even give the guests a claim ticket. All he said was, I remember who you are. How many people are going to hang up the coats anyway? <laughs> After about 10 coats, he and Henry, they got some pieces of paper together and started creating some claim number to keep track. Then he raised the price of the coat check to $1. Then he disallowed people from hanging up two coats on the same hanger. Then he went to the security guy at the ballroom entrance and told him, don't let anyone into the ballroom until they hang up their coats. Then he raised the price to $2. When the uh, dance was over and I got all the money together and did a count to see if we made any money or not, we were able to sell only 100 tickets at 6 bucks each. However, 300 people showed up at the door and paid $8. Uh, I, I guess the uh, $2 difference in price was not enough incentive to buy early. After subtracting the $3,000 in sales from the cost of the ballroom, the sound equipment, music licensing fee, and security, we came away with a net profit of $50. If I had to pay for printing the tickets, we would have lost money. We celebrated by spending the profits on dim sum the next day. We were all quite happy that we came out ahead uh, until we found out that my brother made over 300 bucks hanging up coats. I learned a very valuable lesson from that Valentine's Day experience. The most important being is not what your sales are, is what your costs are. Sure, it sounded great to tell people we made $3,000. However, it's not as impressive once they find out that it cost you $2,950 bucks to make it. In the meantime, my brother's, my brother's $300 was pure profit because his cost was zero. This lesson in cost control would eventually lead me to the internet many years later. The cost of running my internet business is next to nothing when you compare it to a regular business that does, that does the same volume. My blog was started for the cost of a domain name. My YouTube channel costs nothing to start or to run. A normal business 
takes years to break even and earn a profit, if it ever does. However, the barriers of entry for an internet business can be so low, you can make a profit from the get-go. And this is why I say the best business to start is an internet business. A few days after the Valentine's dance, my brother said to me, Hey John, if you ever decide to do another dance, I'll work the coat room. I haven't done a dance, I haven't done a dance since. This is John Chow with JohnChow.com. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like that message, and like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next episode.